All right. How do you how do you name ionic compounds? So let's go back to uh, what we set out to do. Okay. Well, uh, I know now how to name a positive ion. I know how to name a negative ion. So to name the compound, just smush them together and you got it. So I know that this is, oops, this is a sodium ion. This is the chloride ion. So together it will be sodium chloride. This, I know, it, if I look at it, it will be zinc plus two. So zinc plus two is zinc two ion. This is the chloride ion. So together zinc two chloride. Uh, and so on and so forth. Let's look at examples and do them by hand um, and see how this works out uh, specifically. Okay, so um, let's write the chemical formulas and name the ion. Write the chemical formula and name the following ionic compounds. Okay, so I'm going to give you just the ions. Let's name the ions, and then we'll smush them together and get what we need. Okay, I have Mg plus 2, whatever that is, and I have N minus 3. So first of all, for me to form this ionic compound, I'll remind you I have to have a, a total charge of 0 when these two end up hanging out. So to do that, I'll do a crisscross. The 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 magnitude, take the absolute value of this thing, put it here. Take the absolute value of this thing, put it here. Absolute value, not negative. You don't put mg negative 3. That's ridiculous. mg3 n2. That is my compound. mg3 n2. Okay, great. Now let's name this guy. So mg plus 2. Well, this is a group 2. If you look at the periodic table, group 2, uh, and it is a positive ion. So uh, group 2 doesn't require the Roman numerals. It's nice. So this is magnesium ion. I'm going super slow to make sure everyone is on the same page. Uh, N minus 3, that's the other ion. This is a negative ion, right? an N ion, Okay, meaning that it you just... It, you, you, you truncate the last bit of the name and you replace it with "-ide". So this will be instead of nitrogen ion, it will be nitride ion. And to name this thing, just smush the two names together and drop the ion and it will be magnesium nitride. And that's it. Magnesium nitride. Okay. Let's look at another example. Uh, we'll do a total of three. Why not? So let's look at the chromium ion and this thing. So this was one of the ones you should be memorizing. Okay. So when they come together again, we will we will crisscross them and take the absolute value. So the CR here gets two, positive two, and SO four. I will um, parenthesize it. It gets positive three, or just regular three. Always getting uh, absolute value. So I have two and three. Great. Now I need to name this thing. This is not group one, and it's not group two, and it's not group three. So I need to indicate the charge. So this is chromium. One, two, three. Not easily discernible. Sorry. One, two, three. Ion. And this uh, is for you to memorize. This is the sulfate ion. Okay, chromium three ion, sulfate ion. To get the name of the entire thing, then I smush them together and I drop the words ions, and it's going to be chromium three sulfate. Okay, done. That's it. That's the name for this thing, chromium sulfate. And then the person who sees this, if they don't see this, they'll be able to write that because they'll know chromium has to have a positive three rather than positive two or something like that. Okay, because if chromium had positive two, it would have different subscripts here. Okay, so uh, that's that. Let's look at another example. I'm hoping that this makes sense. 
Okay, and then afterwards, let's go, we'll go backwards. All right, I have Ti plus four and O minus two. Okay, to write this together, again, take the absolute value, you would get Ti two O four. And the four goes here, the two goes here, but we have we have to reduce that. So reduce that to the um, to be Ti O two. Okay, smallest possible subscript, unless noted otherwise. So TiO2 is uh, your compound here, TiO2. Okay, let's name this. Uh, okay, this here is not group one, and it's not group two, and it's not group three. Uh, so I got to indicate what the charge is. And this is titanium, and it's four ion. Let me ask you, I'll tell you something. Please, 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 please let me know. Um, don't be ashamed. Uh, I've had this uh, happen. Some students who are not um, familiar with Roman numerals, let me know. I'll let you know how to do that. It's not hard, but if you haven't seen them before, don't be ashamed. Uh, it's not like people really use this. It's an arcane thing. So let me know. Uh, this oxygen is a negative ion. Oxygen, so negative ions get the IDE thing at the end. So oxygen becomes oxide, and then to get to name uh, to name sorry to name this TiO two to name this thing you smush both of these together and drop the word ion so it's titanium four oxide okay uh, okay so um, so that that's it. So those of you who are unaware, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, you won't see beyond this much, but this is six. This is seven. This is eight. Oops, three of them. Eight. This is nine. And this is ten. Okay, there's no zero. They didn't realize that there'd be zero, so there is no zero. That's why we don't use this stuff. All right, so um, uh, let's go backwards. Let's go backwards. If I give you the uh, the chemical formula, I want you to go back and tell me. Uh, uh, to, oh, it's not. I guess it's not really going backwards, is it? No, I'm going to give you the chemical formula, and you need to name it. So it's not going backwards. I'm just not giving you the ions. Okay. So I could go backwards. I could just give you. Maybe we'll go backwards for one or two of them. So let's let's try some of them. So name this thing. Okay, great. All right. I know from this thing that this entire thing has to be equal to zero. I know that if I look at my uh, thing that I have you memorize, where is this thing? Here. NO3 is a nitrate. First of all, it's a nitrate. Uh, and it's got a charge of negative one. Great. Okay. So I know that this thing uh, is going to be copper nitrate. Okay. So if you write copper nitrate, you won't get full credit because copper has a charge associated with it because it's not, it's a transition metal. So this is the, why it's a little bit tricky. So nitrate has a charge of negative one, meaning that this here is negative one, which means that there's two of them, this entire thing here is negative two, and to make this entire thing uh, zero, this has to be positive two. Let me know if you don't follow that. Um, I'll give you more examples uh, for individuals who have not understood what I just did. Let me do it slowly again. Basically, I know that NO3 is a negative. Since I have two of them, I basically know that this entire thing is negative two. When I smush copper with it, copper come around, ask the co copper to come around, I know the copper has to have something that would make this go to zero, negative two plus something to make it go to zero, so this has to be positive two, okay? So that's what I, I just did. So I know now that copper is positive two from that, from that, and from here, this is negative one, this is negative two, this is positive two, so this entire thing is positive two, so I have to write copper two nitrate, right? All right, uh, let's look at this one, NH4, C L O three. Ooh, that's the all totally from the memorization table. So C L O three is right here. That's chlorate. Okay, and I told you to memorize the other one. It's ammonium. So this is ammonium chlorate.
So uh, some of it is memorization, some of it is some logics, or some of it is a little bit of both. Okay. Um, all right. Let's let's go backwards now. Let's say I tell you, I give you iron. What was that? That was a little recording. I didn't realize I could take a snapshot. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? Iron um, three oxide. Okay, sorry about that little distraction. All right, so I have iron three oxide, and I want you to write the chemical formula for it. Uh, and this is near and dear to my heart because I use that. I use this in grad school when I make nanoparticles. So iron three oxide. Um, what would this look like? Okay, iron I know is Fe. I also know from this, nice. It's telling me that this is plus three. Okay, oxygen is O. And the oxygen ion, oxide is an ion, oxide ion is negative two. And I'll do the crisscross applesauce thing and I get that this is Fe2O3, which has many names depending on the magnetic character for this thing. Okay, so, but that's the realm of inorganic chemistry. 